Hey YouTube, what's going on? A uh, user requested I show settings for best performance with AMD. So this is with my laptop with the i77. Uh, <laughs> i77. i7-7700HQ. I like to set everything to low and I like to set textures to ultra and view distance to ultra. And the point of view and all that, you can see, this is basically the settings I like to play at. And I'm going to play around first person solo mode. And I get to about, uh, I don't know, what did I wind up on this one? In the top 25? Anyway, this is... Mostly to show performance, not to show that I'm Mr. PUBG Master, which I'm not. Took me over 300 hours of playing this game to get a chicken dinner, but I did eventually get one. So for those of you who haven't got a chicken dinner yet, keep trying. Eventually, if you persist, you'll get one. But as you can see, the game... I don't know, they, they did some work on this game last night. I was going to do this video last night. But there was a an update. So I don't know if they worked on optimizations or anything. But anyway, I got the F FPS counter going in the corner. My RX 580 in this laptop. I can't overclock it. I can't overclock the the CPU. So this is basically what stock settings right and the cooling that the laptop provides so but as you can see the game plays very smooth and it's playing it seems to stick to around 80 frames a second pretty much the whole game I mean it will go down it goes up and goes down but for the most part it stays in the high 70s low 80s on the frames per second but the game plays really smooth and that's what you want in this game you want your mouse and your keyboard to feel responsive and when you shoot someone you want it to no input lag whatever so anyway again this is just to tr trying to show they requested the best performance settings if you have an AMD graphics card I mean that can get so subjective it depends on what CPU you're running it depends on if you're running it on a laptop like I am it depends on you know many things can go into this are you overclocking? Are you running stock? Because I, I would imagine if I had a desktop PC with a 580, I could overclock it, and I could probably get even better performance than I'm getting here. Or, you know, you have a an i7-7700K, and you overclock it to 5 gigahertz, and you run an overclocked 580, it's going to probably give you more. And I'm also using Radeon Relive to capture this uh, this run, which might impact the performance by 1 or 2%. I, I don't know for sure. But props to AMD Relive because it captures the game well. You don't need a capture card. And that's a nice feature. But as you can see, even with the game set to everything low but the textures and the view distance the game I mean that's the other subjective thing thing when it comes to best performance what are you willing to sacrifice do you want the game to look beautiful you want it to look pretty everybody's got their preferences now if you have a Nvidia card I know this game runs better like on a GTX 1060, even a 1050 Ti, it runs well on. So, 
but for me, I, you know, my laptop has a RX 580 in it, and this is one of the games I play the most, so I'm just happy that this laptop plays the game, plays it smooth. As long as I'm plugged in, that that's that's the one caveat. You'd think with a laptop, okay, I can unplug and I can go sit somewhere with just my wireless mouse and play, but uh, performance tends to go down when you're not plugged in with your adapter. So anyway, but it, you know, as far as a laptop goes, I can still go unplug and watch YouTube videos or whatever. So anyway, again, I, I'm basically just running around trying to stay alive long enough to almost do a whole round here. And you can see that the game plays smooth the whole time. I don't have any stutters or anything. And it, it's getting above 60 FPS. For me, anything above 60, I'm happy. And anyway, you can watch the rest of this. I finally die. I go to get a drop. And someone gets the drop on me and kills me. And that's how this round ends. So, but I'm going to go to the prison here in a minute. So you can see how the FPS is affected when indoors versus outdoors. I've been trying to look around. You know, go through the grassy area there previously. I mean, this there's no benchmark really for this game, but other than to run around and give you a rough idea of how it's going to perform. Anyway, hit subscribe if you like the content and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.